Hi there. Welcome to the sixth Sunday of Easter for um, Children's Liturgy of the Word for St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish in Crofton. I am Jennifer O'Leary. Some of you know me as Miss Jen. Some of you know me as um, Mrs. O'Leary. And we're so excited to have you here. If you haven't been here before, we're going to talk a little bit about the gospel today and um, learn a little bit about what God wants us to know. And if you're back, welcome back. We're so glad you're here. The first thing I want you to do today is think about something that is special to you. It might have been a gift you received, like for your birthday or when you were a baby. It might just be something that you find comfort with. I'm going to show you a gift I got for Mother's Day. I was so excited. My kids got me this bracelet and on it are these um, saint medals and on the back of the saint medal it says pray for us and on each of the medals it um, it has saints for each of my children and then other special saints to me so um, one of my kids is Patrick and there's a Patrick um, medallion on here and one of them is St. Elizabeth Ann Seton because my daughter's middle name is Elizabeth for Elizabeth Ann Seton. One of them is Our Lady of Knock because my daughter's name Molly and um, Our Lady of Knock was when she Mary appeared in Ireland and Molly is a form of Mary. And then I have St. Joseph for um, one of my, my other son. His middle name is Joseph. Anyway, I just got this gift just recently and I love it. I've been wearing it every day. I won't wear it during this video because it would make a lot of noise, but I really love it. It brings me a lot of comfort. So can you think of something that you have that brings you comfort? It could be something you sleep with. It might be a pillow or a blanket or a stuffed animal, or it could be a gift you've gotten recently. But I want you to think about that gift or that object or that thing that brings you comfort, that makes you happy, because Jesus wanted to give us something that would bring us comfort. And today he talks about how the Holy Spirit is going to be that gift. Maybe you've heard about the Trinity. The Trinity is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And we talk about that sometimes. It can be confusing, but it, it's a little bit different. We have God the Father. We talk to God a lot, right? You've heard about God. And Jesus is the Son. We hear about him all the time, don't we? And then the Spirit is the third part of that Trinity. And the Spirit is a little hard to understand. But today, Jesus teaches us about how that Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is a gift to us. A lot of times when you go through sacraments like baptism or confirmation, um, they will talk about the Holy Spirit being there. But Jesus loves us and he doesn't want us to be alone. So the Spirit is with us all the time. Before I read the gospel, I want to give you a little activity that you might be able to do later. And you might need a grown-up's help and you might not have all the supplies at home, but this is something you can try out later that's kind of fun. You're going to get um, a coloring page or you're going to draw for yourself um, pictures of fish. And here's the important part. You can draw the fish kind of however you decide, but you want to have some different kinds of fish on there. I drew these on a whiteboard. You're going to want to use like regular paper and you can use a marker to draw them or you can use a, um, a pencil to draw them. You can even use a crayon. But the important part is after you draw them, you want to color them in with crayons and you want to color them really well with those crayons. Because after you've done that and you just color in the fish, you're going to take, and this is where it might be tricky, if you have some blue paint, it can be watercolor paint or it can be a regular tempera paint mixed with some water. It doesn't have to be too complicated and you just need a little. You can then paint the whole thing blue because they're in the water. Does that make sense? I'm going to show you an example after the gospel, but I just want you to know it's kind of a fun activity to do when you color with the crayons and then you put the paint on top of it, the crayons come through really cool in really cool ways. It's neat. So I'm going to read the gospel. Don't forget we're going to cross our minds so that we hear 
or we have the words in our minds. We're going to cross our lips so we speak the words on our lips. We're going to cross our heart so that we keep the words in our heart. All right? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will do as I command. Then I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit, who will help you and always be with you. The Spirit will show you what is true. The people of this world cannot accept the Spirit because they don't see or know him. But you know the Spirit who is with you and will keep on living in you. I won't leave you like orphans. I will come back to you. In a little while, the people of this world won't be able to see me, but you will see me. And because I live, you will live. Then you will know that I am one with the Father. You will know that you are one with me, and I am one with you. If you love me, you will do what I have said, and my Father will love you. I will also love you and show you what I am like. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, we're back with, who are you? Daniel. Daniel. And um, we're going to take a look at your picture. Can I show everybody? So um, I drew some fish. And then Daniel colored them in really well with crayons. And then what did you do on top of that? Um, paint it. You painted it with blue paint, right? Mm -hmm. And are all the fish the same or are they different? Different. Yeah, they're different, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They even have different colors. How are they different, Dee? Because this is a starfish and it's green. Yeah. What else is different? Oh, um, these are baby fish. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. And what is all around the fish? What is all over this whole picture? Um, seaweed, bubbles, and water. Right, but what what did you do after you'd colored them in? What was it that you put all over the whole paper? Paint. Paint. So you used that blue paint. Is there anything mm -hmm. for us that is all around us all the time like that? <laughs> Who do we get help from all the time? God. Yeah, God's with us, right? The mm -hmm. Spirit is with us, and it helps us stay alive, and it helps us go where we need to go, right? Just like the fish. Mm -hmm. So where do you see the blue in this picture, Daniel? Mm. Is it in just some places or everywhere? Everywhere. everywhere, just like the Holy Spirit is with us everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for your help. Can you say bye? Bye. Thank you to Daniel for showing us his picture and talking to us for a few minutes. He wanted to help me out. Um, it really was a big help that he painted this, all right? The Holy Spirit really is kind of like the water. These fish cannot be separated from the Spirit, from God. The only way they can be separated is if they jump out of the water, right? And when they jump out of the water, can they still keep living? No. It's not that we can't live, but our lives are richer and stronger because we have the Spirit with us. We have the water like the fish do. Now, can you think of anything in our church where we use water? What is something we use water for in our church? Did you say baptism? We use baptism. We use water at baptism. We also use water to remind ourselves of the baptism when you come into the church, you bless yourself with that holy water. You might have some of that holy water at home. Um, we use water, the Father Paul, the priest, uses water to bless us all. He'll go around the church and do it sometimes, right? Maybe you even thought of another time where we use water at church. It's usually to remind us of that baptism, okay? 
And I want you to remember it, that just like the fish need the water, we need the Spirit, and we need Jesus, and we need God to be with us. When we sin, when we do things that turn us away from God, that's like the fish jumping out of the water. But what's great is you can come right back. Okay? Great. So we're going to pray together the prayer of the faithful, and then we'll head on out, and I'll see you next week. We will start, um, this is where we have bring our prayers to the Lord. As one people joined together by the Holy Spirit living in and among us, let us pray for the good of the church and of the world. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, send the truth of your Holy Spirit to church leaders that they may be good shepherds of your people. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, send the truth of your Holy Spirit to world leaders that they will make peace. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, send the truth of your Holy Spirit to the families of our parish that we will live together in peace and find solutions to our family problems. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Now, I want you to think of any petitions that you might have, any prayers that you want to bring to God, and you can say it now if you like. For all these prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, through your Son's death and resurrection, you sent us the Holy Spirit to teach us your truth and fill us with your own everlasting life and goodness. Keep us free from sin that we might live with you forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us again today. We will hopefully see you next week. Have a fantastic week with your family and enjoy the nice weather when we have it. And I will see you next week. Bye.